Attention all filmmakers. You have short films or full features without a district. Come to www.fhffsd.org. That is the fantastic horror film festival. So hurry up. Submit now. Do you need key art poster for your horror project? Do you have a limited budget and about to hit the festival circuit? Are you looking for distribution and need visual art to help the process? Well, you're in luck. Go to www.posterlabworks.com and contact them for more information. They'll work with your budget and provide you some great key art. If you mention Gruesome Herzog when you contact them, they will include art for matching postcards and along with the poster. Contact them now. Puppet Master 3, Tulin's Revenge in 1991. Set in Berlin during World War II, the Nazi regime is attempting to develop a drug that will bring dead soldiers back to life. Directed by David Ducate, written by Charles Band and C. Courtney Joyner. Released May 1st, 1992, when good puppets go bad. Here's the cast. Guy Rolf as Andre Tulin. Richard Lynch as Major Krauss, Ian Abercrombie as Dr. Hess, Christopher Logan as Lieutenant Eric Stein, Aaron Eisenberg as Peter Hertz, Walter Gotell as General Mueller, and Sarah Douglas as Elsa Tulin. Now here is a prequel. This tells the story of how the puppets came about. So basically, you have Tulin, who's just a regular puppet master, on strings. Well, this Egyptian guy torched his uh, puppet set, you know, during his show, and then comes to see him later and shares his secret, the magic, this green liquid that makes the puppets actually move on their own. Well, there's a story about that as well, which I'm not going to say. I'll let you guys watch it for the ones who did not see it. So, in the meantime, a, Ru- a German soldier posing as another puppeteer was watching his, um, you know, his puppet thing, and comes to the house, obviously, to, to, in, to inspect, to, you know. Well, when he leaves, he overhears his, him and his wife talking. So he looks through the window, and he sees that he's injecting these puppets with his green liquid. He takes pictures. To the, takes it back to his commander. The Nazis goes to his house to investigate what these what these pictures and all this stuff, and they shoot and kill his wife. Now the battle starts. So what happens is the Nazis keep trying to find Tulin and to give his secret about this green liquid because they want to use this same thing for soldiers, for zombie soldiers. So that's basically what the story is about. There's more to it than that. In my opinion. So far, the first one is my favorite. My second favorite is part three and part two, as of right now. So, Puppet Master 3, Tulin's Revenge, is a very interesting, because it's a prequel. Like everything else, it tells the story of how these puppets all came about. There's more to it in the story, but I'll, you know, for the ones who have not watched it, find out for yourself. It's really cool. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film... A 7.5 out of 10. You know, I really dig it. It's, you know, it's different. I like the idea of finding out how the puppets came about. And that's pretty cool. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.